Identifying different types of transformers. This is a floor or an internal transformer, a wall transformer. Identifying different types of connections. This is a female five pin connection, a male straight five pin connection, and a 90 degree male five pin connection. This is a female two pin DIN connection and a male two pin DIN connection. These are typically used for connecting the headrest or the lumbar. Installing the power saver. Step one, disconnect power supply, either transformer or power pack. Step two is locating where the connections are. They're either on the back rail, or in this case, they happen to be on the front rail. Disconnect the zip ties or the twist ties, and then disconnect the switch connection to the motor lead. With the power saver, connect the male five pin to the female five pin on the motor lead and then connect the male five pin from the switch directly into the side of the power saver. Always make sure that the power saver is away from any moving parts. This would be a 90 degree male connection coming from the switch. This particular power saver has a guard on it. It doesn't necessarily fit flush. So what you want to do is use a pair of pliers and snip off the guard. It'll look like this. Insert the 90 degree into the side of the power saver and then connect the cord coming from the power saver to the motor lead. Again, making sure that when you're installing it, keeping it away from all moving parts. Installing a power saver with a cable kit. Some installations of power savers require a cable kit. The cable kit consists of two external wires, one that has a single male fitting and the other has a single female fitting. The single male fitting goes into the side of the power saver, and coming off the power saver, you have a male five pin that goes into the female five pin on the opposing cable. Now that you have your cable kit connected, we're going to locate the fitting coming from the switch to the motor lead, disconnect that fitting, connect the male five pin from the power saver to the female five pin on the motor lead, and then the female five pin from the power saver to the five pin from the switch. Now that you've connected the two five pins for the footrest, now we're going to connect the two DIN connections for the headrest. So open up the back flap and locate the wires leading to the headrest. Disconnect that fitting. You're going to feed the female two pin DIN through the bottom opening of the furniture. And you're going to connect that to the male two pin DIN from the power saver. Feed the female DIN connection through the same opening and then connect that to your headrest male connection, and now you should be connected. Connecting the orange XL power saver. The power saver comes with two cables connected to it, and then there's an external fitting that has a male on one side and a blue and a black female on the other side. The single male five pin gets connected to the side of the power saver. Now we're going to connect the black fittings to the footrest mechanism. You're going to locate the cables coming off of the switch to the motor lead. Disconnect that fitting. Connect the female black 5-pin to the male 5-pin from the switch. And the male 5-pin from the power saver directly to the female motor lead. Now we're going to take the blue wires and connect to the headrest. You're going to open up the back flap of the furniture. Locate the fittings that go to the headrest. Take the black five pin and pull it through the bottom of the furniture and connect it to the blue female five pin on the power saver. Then you're going to take the male blue five pin, feed it through the same opening, and you're going to connect it to the headrest fitting. And now you should be connected.